happy Saturday. So today I will be taking you guys along with us. Me and my mom, we are going to get our nails done. So I'm actually going to do like a combination of a day in my life and also a small business studio vlog because I do have a t-shirt to make today for sale. And then my mom wanted to, so I got to make two for her. And I have some new like UV DTF wraps coming in that I want to show you guys. I'm going to um make the, I got to boil my, <laughs> I got to boil my lip glasses in water and some soap and get those old designs off. And I'm going to put on the new designs so I can take product photos. And then I also ordered some new things from Timu and that should be coming in. So I don't think everything's going to come in today. Um... I might get the rest of my items this week. So this is probably going to be a week long, you know, small business vlog. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to take you guys along and let me know what you guys think. If you like me adding my day in the life in there with the small business vlog as well. All right, y'all. I will see y'all on the way. All right, y'all. See if I can see the fit. It's my shoe that I got on and some pants and my heat is risen. Y'all saw me make this last week but yeah that's the fit <laughs> all right you guys we are here i'm gonna show you where we're getting our nails done right there i think y'all can see it it's called posh nails and spa hopefully y'all can see it guys, I just got my eyebrows did, I got my nails done. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all a better view of it a little bit later on. CVBs. Good morning besties. It is the next day. I think yesterday I showed you guys like a little bit of me and my mom, you know, going out to get our nails did. So today though we are in my little nook area so it is sunday today and i only have like one order i have like the um a god save me t-shirt in this lilac color to make so i'm gonna go ahead and make that and then i also have two t-shirts to make for my mom she wanted two of them so i'm gonna make her two as well but that's all i have to make for today it's definitely gonna be like a week vlog because i have other things that i need to do but those items aren't coming in until later on this week so as they come in i will record them for you guys so you guys can see but yeah that is what we have on the agenda today and i also wanted to show you guys any thank you cards that i got so let me show you them so these are the thank you cards that i got look they say oh happy day <laughs> these like these are so cute especially the fact that it's springtime and they have flowers i'm trying to make sure i can get them in the light but yeah, they're so cute and I wanted to get something. You know, my brand ha always has a little bit of pink in it. So this was the closest to pink that I could get with like a spring representation. So yeah, I have 50 of these and yeah, um, I'm liking these thank you cards as of right now. They're a cheaper option than paying like $50 to get my custom made thank you cards. And they're really cute because I could always switch it up. You know, you won't always get the same thing. It's always going to be something different. So I really like that a lot. Also, you guys, I wanted to show you my nails up close. I don't know if I did um, yesterday, but this is what they look like. Pretty simple and like elegant and cute. That's what I wanted to just do a little, little something, something. Yeah, so this is what they look like, you guys. Simple and cute. So yeah, I thought that, you know, it was a good outing yesterday, me and my mom. We had fun. And yeah, now it is back to business. So I'm going to go ahead and get the label printed out because I want to make sure. I already know what t-shirt she ordered. It's this lilac one in the, si in the size large. But I want to be 100% sure before I start to make anything. So I'm going to get the label printed out and then I'll come back and we'll press it and everything. So, all right, you guys, I went ahead and printed it out and I hope you guys can see, but it does say lilac and large. So... And it is the God Save Me Tea, if it will focus. There you go. So it is the God Save Me Tea in lilac and in the size large. So we're going to go ahead and make that today. All right, besties. So this is the 
rest of the vinyl that I have, the puff vinyl that I cut out the other day. So she needs the lilac one. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out and weed it out for her. You guys, this puff vinyl peels so smooth. It peels like butter. But I have to be like careful with it because it's so easy to peel off that like sometimes the edges of like the design, the actual design will lift. So I like, I kind of want to just rip it. But as you can see, I don't know if you guys can see the edges are coming up because it's just so easy to peel. But they never fully like, it won't take off the design. It will just rip up the edges a little bit and you just press it back down. It's fine. But like that's just how smooth it is. Hi you guys, so this is what it looks like. And also you guys, I just remember that my mom <laughs> wanted the pink one. So I'm going to weed out the pink one as well and do hers for her. Um, she wants a purple comfort colors tee, but she wanted like a specific design on there. And I'm not sure which design she wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and check with her to see which comfort colors design it is that she wanted on her purple comfort colors tee or which design she wanted on the comfort colors tee i should say because she didn't want to puff which is totally understandable so yeah so as you guys can see i need to um either order or go back and pick up more puff vinyl and you guys know how i feel about shipping i don't feel like i want to pay for shipping ever <laughs> i think jiffy shirts kind of spoiled me so the place is like 20 minutes away so um i might go back there and get the order and, and order some puffy vinyl and just pick it up because you could order and pick up or just go in there and pick it up it doesn't really matter but y'all i don't want to you know do shipping because the only way i'll get free shipping is if like i order a lot and like i haven't been getting a lot of sales i don't know if you guys have seen like my last video or my last um vlog that i posted well, it's Saturday now, so the vlog that that video will be would have been posted Tuesday coming. So, um, but in that video, I explained to you guys, you know, that we I haven't really been getting a lot of sales due to my whole TikTok situation. So, if you guys have not watched that video, go ahead and watch it. It should be the last video that I posted um, right before this one. But yeah, so I haven't been getting a lot of sales, so I don't really want to buy a lot of, you know, puffy vinyl. But I do need to go back to Perfect Press because I want to try some other designs. And I need white puffy vinyl and black puffy vinyl. So um, I, I need to restock. I probably need to get like two more of these just to have. And then I'm going to get like white and black puffy vinyl because I'm thinking I have some designs that I could do with those. But yeah, so this is how this looks. Yep, so I'm going to check with her and see what's the other design that she wants so that I could press everything all together. I will be back. Besties, I just got, I don't know if you guys could see, but I just got two sales on my digital products. So somebody bought my ebook on how to create your own Shopify store. And she also bought my ebook on how to start your own business. So that's great news. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, um, don't forget that I do have those ebooks available. In case you guys would like to purchase, they will be linked down below. All right, y'all. So this is the design that's going to be on my mom's. Um, this design is actually really cute, you guys. It's not even a design on my store. So that is the perk of having your daughter own her own t-shirt business. You can get whatever design that you want. <laughs> and then this one is gonna be for the order that I received. And then this one is gonna be her pink one as well. So actually this is the wrong size. Um, I have to get her the extra large cause I think she wanted extra large. So um, this is for a different design that I have that I'm gonna try on here. 
So yeah, I'm gonna get the extra large and then we're gonna get pressed in. I'm gonna press this one first because you guys know how puff is. I'm gonna press it at 270 for 15 seconds. So I'm gonna do that one first and then I'll do the DTF after. Also besties, let me know what you think about this. Like I really wanna do like a pink on gray type of design. And I think this is super cute, but let me know what you think. It says God is good all the time. I really like it, but before I press it, let me know what y'all think. I could press it like next week. I'll wait on pressing it this week since I've already like came out with a couple of new designs. So yeah, let me know if y'all like this or if you think it'll be better on something else. Because this is just a tester to see how it does. Alright besties, so my heat press is all heated up. It's at 270 and set for 15 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and puff and press the puff. I don't know if you guys know, but like... <laughs> I am always so nervous when I do puff because like it could go good one time and then the next time it could go terribly wrong. So I'm going to go ahead and press it really quickly before I, before the heat press gets too warm. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's going to help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt, just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend, cause you're way too stuck. Yay! Okay, you guys, it came out literally perfect. <laughs> okay, you guys, yeah, I'm always super nervous about puff, but it came out really good. So as long as you like have the temperature or you found the temperature that works for you, um, it should come out perfect <laughs> so i'm happy about that so that's done so i'm gonna go ahead and do the my mom's and yeah that'll be it for today how do you think it's gonna end? nothing that they could do nothing that they could say nothing that they could do is take all the pain away sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't but we could be So this is how it looks. Y'all, it looks so cute on this lilac. It looks really good. besties so i am done this is for my mom this is the order and then this one is also for my mom so i'm actually not gonna record me packing this because i'm gonna do a a short for youtube so i'm gonna record a youtube short on me packing and i'm not sure that i've done that in a while have i yeah, I don't even remember, but I'm going to do a YouTube short on me packing. And pro tip, you guys, I'm always telling you guys, if you want to gain more subscribers or get more views on YouTube, if that is your goal, shorts. YouTube shorts and make sure that they're not sh a short short, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, they need to be long. So, like, when I used to do 10, 15 second shorts, they, those didn't really get a lot of views. So, when I started doing, like, shorts that were over 30 seconds long, close to like 40, 50 seconds, those shorts were pushed by YouTube. So pro tip for you guys, if that's something that you guys are interested in doing. But all right, guys, so this is it for today. I'm going to touch base back with you guys later on this week when I get my other items in that I want to show you because I do have more Libby Glass designs coming in and I need to, you know, make products or make like display products of those designs so that I can take photos and put them on my website. So I will see you guys later on this week. Bye. All right, besties. So I'm all done filming my packing video. But I just thought I probably could have showed you guys the behind the scenes of me packing. But 
this is the aftermath of me packing but let me know if you guys want to see like a behind the scenes of how i make like my shorts and my reels but yeah it's all packaged up and i have her label on the front i just don't want to show her address so i'm gonna ship that off tomorrow and by the time this video is posted i should have already posted the short of me packing it so if you guys haven't seen it yet go ahead and check that out because it should be in my shorts and i'm gonna link it somewhere on the screen for you guys to check it out but all right y'all i'll see y'all later on this week bye several days later hey besties so it is tuesday april 2nd and i am on my way to aviva wholesale because i want to see if i can get a couple of their gildan soft style t-shirts because i have some new designs coming and i'm thinking about maybe testing out the designs on gildan instead of uh comfort colors since comfort colors are so expensive so i'm going to take you guys along y'all tell me why they have comfort colors up in here y'all done that was a success and i showed you guys that they have comfort colors now that they didn't have it like a month ago and now they do and they also have puff so i got their puff i'm gonna try that out and see how it does all right guys that was actually a success that was a good trip i really don't like the oh hold on I really don't like or love the Gildan soft style, but I'm gonna give it a shot because it is cheaper than the comfort colors. I really prefer, bless you. <laughs> I really prefer the comfort colors, but the Gildan soft style, we're gonna see how it looks and make the verdict then. Okay, besties, it is literally the next day. <laughs> so sorry you guys i did not want to film the lighting last night was pretty bad so i decided to wait till the morning and show you guys everything that i got i've already pretty much put everything up but i'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys what i have and what's gonna be new to the business with some good lighting so let me get you guys set up yeah look at these scrunchies so i got these I got all of these off of Timu and I don't want to lie and tell you guys the price because I honestly don't remember how much it costs but these are these not so cute you guys like I don't know that I've seen anybody do these in like a as like a freebie item and give them away for free you know this is like unheard of unseen no i'm kidding i'm sure there are other people who give like scrunchies away for free like that are this cute but you guys just imagine opening your packages and you guys you get one of these little cute scrunchies like can you imagine the person that gets this like is this not so cute like so yeah you guys these are gonna be some of my freebies and i also got these as well that i'm gonna be giving away so these are like little keychains so I'm going to be giving these away with the scrunchies as well. And y'all, look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know. I still have a bunch of my stickers. Oop, oops. So, I still have like a bunch of my stickers. So, I'm still going to have my stickers. And I'm still going to be giving my stickers away. So, if anyone shops with me, you know, you might get some stickers and a scrunchie. Or you might get a scrunchie and a keychain. Or you might get a keychain and a sticker. You never know. So I just like the fact that I have variety and that if you order from me, you won't be getting the same freebie every time, you know? So yeah, you guys, these are... I got these on Timu and I'm going to put the price on the screen because, y'all, I don't remember how much they cost, but I am almost certain it wasn't over $3. I'm almost certain it wasn't over $3 for 
either one of these so and i think it was like it could have been like two dollars or a dollar something but i'll put the price on the screen so it really wasn't a lot at all and you get all of these really cute scrunchies and i'm thinking you know when i go to markets i could bring them for sale as well just like something really cute sell them maybe for a dollar because if i get all of these for three dollars and i sell them back for a dollar i'm already making a profit so you know can't hurt especially just to have something on my stand to fill my stand up and then yeah look at the little cute keychains and it's like you just got oh oops it's like you know this is for free you know my customers will not have to pay for this i think i saw someone on timu that had that had their customers paying for theirs like they i had them packaged up so if you wanted to i guess you could sell them and maybe do the same like sell them for a dollar like maybe if you guys have kids that want to start a little business that's something that they could do sell them for a dollar so yep yeah, that's really cute then the next thing i wanted to show you guys are these so i'm thinking of bringing these to my shop you guys now i don't know if you've ever gone on etsy and you've seen like these lanyard type wrist chains or wristlets but what i'm thinking you guys i'm thinking of like putting words on it like you know how um if you see if you've seen any of these on etsy they look, usually put phrases like faith over fear or make heaven crowded so i'm thinking of doing something like that but my only thing is that the ones that I saw on Etsy, a lot of them are embroidered on. And I don't have an embroidery machine. I'm thinking of getting one. Um, I might just start off with like the 4x4, four four, the, is it the SE600? The Brother SE600, I think. And I might just start off with the 4x4. Four four. It's like $500. I might think about getting that next month because I really want to do embroidery and i think that would be really cute i also saw some of them they did them on etsy and it looks like they like cut out the vinyl and they press the vinyl into it like on the heat press so i don't know if that's what they did but i'm thinking maybe i want to get into like sewing get a sewing machine so i could scr sew like my own scrunchies like my own faith-based scrunchies and like make my own faith-based wristlets so I'm thinking of maybe doing a sewing machine. It's just like the money. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. I have so many machines and I don't really have space to keep it. But my thing is I'm thinking of either getting like the sewing machine or a mug press. So I could get either or. Of course the mug press will be a lot cheaper. But like with a mug press you can only do like cups and mugs and such. And with a sewing machine you could do a lot more. The only thing is with a sewing machine, uh, it's going to take me a while to learn. It's going to need like a lot more materials and it's more expensive. With a cup press, like I spent the money once. I already have a sublimation machine. So I feel like a cup press is like the safer route to go. But I feel like having a sewing machine or an embroidery machine could give me like more options. So let me know what y'all think down below. I'm not going to buy anything. If I'm going to buy it, I'm not going to buy it until next month. So let me know what y'all think and which route do you guys think would be better for me to take. Or which route, what kind of content do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see like more sewing content or more like mug and cup content? Just let me know down below. And then going back to, you know, me talking about embroidery, I ordered these socks as, these socks as well because... I'm thinking about like embroidering a design on the socks. You know how I had my um socks that I sublimated and I had the design sublimated on here. I'm thinking about maybe embroidering the design on here and you know it's gonna be of course faith-based designs but I feel like since I don't have an embroidery machine I would have to of course outsource them and find like another company that does do embroidery so it's like there's so much i can do with an embroidery machine but i know it's gonna be so expensive and the time is gonna take for me to learn it so it's like is it worth you know taking the time and the money to learn it because i don't want to keep buying stuff if it's not gonna make any money you know like should i buy a cup press are cups th still a thing i don't know i kind of want both of them but it's like you know i i don't want to keep pouring money into something that's not gonna work you know so this is my idea as well i'm gonna see if i can find like an embroidery business near me and see how much they will charge to do like the embroidery on the sock for me and maybe like start off with 20 and three colors or something like that but that's one idea that i have as well that i want to look into 
And then the last item that I got from Timu, well not from Timu, the last item that I got from Etsy are my cup designs. And I'm going to go ahead and show them to you. So the first one says Jesus and coffee. So this is how it looks. Super cute, super cute. I really, really love this one. Like this one is... I don't know this one is just really cute to me and it's just different so i really like this one and all of these are going to be going live on my website pretty soon i just have to take the product photos so the next one you guys might not be able to see this one but it says with god all things are possible so it's in white with a little black um lining not <laughs> with a little pink lining sorry you guys and then the stars and the dots on the outside are pink you guys might not be able to see it because it's white on white, but in my next vlog where I actually put it on the Libby Glass, you guys will be able to see it then. So I got a couple of those and I'm going to see how they do on my website. And then I also have this one. It says, but first, let me thank God. So I really like the quote on this one. Just a reminder to always thank God in whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that you're asking him for, whatever it is that you want the Lord to do in your life, make sure you're always thanking him first because no matter how bad your situation is, it could always be worse, you know, and he got you this far. So just always remember to thank him. So I really like this one. But yeah, you guys, this is everything that I got that I told you guys that I was going to show you last night that I didn't. <laughs> but I feel like the lighting is better. Um, I don't like filming at night as much. So I try to get good or better lighting whenever I can and film during the day. But alright you guys, so I did want to go ahead and close out this vlog once and for all. Do not mind how I look, it is early in the morning. <laughs> but you guys, as usual, do not forget to like this video. Comment down below and hit the subscribe button. Do not watch the next video if you haven't subscribed yet <laughs> but all right besties i am out of here i will see you next week for the next vlog or the next video peace out bye